Hello and welcome to Kara in Boston. This weekend it was Kara in Boston in New York. So this is going to be a little bit of a um, video on an overview of what I did while I was in New York City. So for kitty, shh. sorry, my kitten is playing with a toy in the background. First of all, it was a freezing when I left my apartment on Saturday morning, it was in the negative degrees, which it hasn't been here in a very, very long time. So I was absolutely freezing. Um, I think I wore four layers to the train station. And here is my uh, upgraded uh, business class seat. I ended up with, I had an economy seat that I purchased for this trip, but I had some upgrade coupons that you can use 12 hours before if there's space. And that was from all of my travels to and from New York during the original run of <clears throat> Moulin Rouge. So I had some of those sitting around. They were actually expiring at the end of this month. So I used them for this trip. So this is the Moynihan Station in New York City. This is where the uh, the trains now come into. Although if you do get off um, on the back of the train coming from Boston, you do end up in the old Penn Station. So, uh, but I had some... Uh, some lounge passes that again were expiring and that was part of my uh, last two years of travel to New York for uh, well before that actually so it was some leftover uh, so I went up I was waiting my friend's uh, flight was delayed so I went up into the Moynihan Amtrak uh, station lounge these are some photos they have a bar they have some food they don't have any food let's be honest okay so I got there about two I think we pulled in about 2 30 Harrison shh. sorry my kitty is playing with his very loud toy of course right when I start this video I apologize <clears throat> um so uh I had gone into the lounge in Boston and I know what to expect there they just have some coffee and some like chips and a candy bar or whatever and it's fine I know what to expect so when I was talking about going to the lounge in New York I was very excited so my friend's flight was delayed by over an hour due to probably the cold so I said well I'll just hang out in the lounge and wait for you to arrive because you know she had her name on the the hotel so I couldn't really check in so I came here they do have a bar the the liquor, the liquor, the alcohol is not free in the lounge, which is typical for the most part in an airport lounge. So the fact that it was not for here, <clears throat> I was a little surprised, but um, I wasn't going to be drinking anyway, so it was fine. But the, the food wise, they didn't really have much. Um, I ended up with just getting some coffee. Uh, they did have a gluten free muffin. But that was about it. Uh, I was there quite a while, so I did go back. Uh, a little after three and I just asked I said do you always just carry breakfast items because you know it was later so I thought maybe they were just uh, you know d doing a switch over or something when I got in it was doing just a late breakfast uh, for the weekend and they said no that they had actually had a vendor issue that they would have their regular uh, afternoon food on Monday but unfortunately uh, I was only traveling on uh, Saturday and Sunday, so I never got to see whatever that was. So I had, a, I mean, at least they had a gluten-free muffin that day, so that was fine. I had some coffee, gluten-free muffin, and then uh, eventually my friend's flight landed. We checked into our hotel at the Edison. We have stayed at the Edison before. Uh, they actually do a wine service. Uh, I believe it's on Tuesdays, and I think they said Friday night, so um, didn't get to indulge in that, but... I did recognize the the lobby. Um, I've also eaten at the Freedman. Unfortunately, we were going to have Sunday brunch there on uh, Sunday morning. It was included in our room uh, at the Freedman. However, they had a flood that morning, probably ice uh, bursting from you know pipes being so cold in the city. And unfortunately, we were not able to have breakfast. In fact, we didn't end up with breakfast at all because we went down at 11, you know, at checkout <clears throat> because we thought, okay, we've got until three o'clock until our show on Sunday morning. So we'll wait as long as we can. Went down there at 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, the other two options were grab and goes and both of those were done at 11. So <clears throat> we ended up not using our breakfast coupon at all. Anyway. Um, so from there, we went to see the show called Pictures from Home, 
and it was starring uh, Nathan Lane, uh, Danny Burstein, and Zoe Wanamaker. I was very excited to see Danny Burstein. As you may know, if you follow me, Danny was in uh, the original Ziedler uh, in the Moulin Rouge run in both Boston <clears throat> and in Broadway. He left uh, just over a year ago. I have seen him in a show. Uh, other than that, he did the uh, My Fair Lady in between when Boston, the Boston run for Moulin Rouge ended before the Broadway one run started. So this is my first time seeing him in a non-musical role. Uh, it was spectacular. They put him in a wig, <clears throat> which is a little daunting. Uh, for me, because I'm just not used to seeing him like that. Nathan Lane was amazing. Um, Nathan and Zoe were his parents, and he was a photographer. Uh, this is a photo of the set that you see when you first come in. Just a note, if you see this show, the front row is a very, it's a fairly low stage, more so than what I'm used to. So the, um, so the front row, you were, you felt like you were like right there in it. And it was really just a beautifully done uh, show. I bawled a couple of times during it, but I've got my own parent issue, so that probably didn't help too much. But overall, it was um, it was a great show, and I did. This is a terrible photo of me. It was freezing, but Danny did come out. Um, I told him I was going to be there. He came out and saw me sign my playbill, which I probably should have just taken a picture of that instead. But here is me and him uh, five years, and I had never gotten a photo with him, but uh, there he is, um, and he is adorable, and... I had a lot of fun. So the next day, here we go. We went to um, the Museum of Broadway. So first, of course, we had the fiasco with having no breakfast. We ended up eating breakfast at what was called an Applebee's. It really felt like a Denny's. Uh, the breakfast was okay. Uh, it just wasn't <clears throat> what I was hoping for. Anyway, we went to a place called the Museum of Broadway. The tickets were 40 I believe, $38 um, to get in. They did have a nice uh, area that you could put your stuff. So they had a little locker system downstairs, which was free of charge. You could put your bags in. So we threw our bags and our jackets because, of course, we were carrying everything that we were uh, taking home with us today or that day in into the show with us. So we went into the museum. And first of all, you see this giant Tony Ward, which was lovely. Um, and uh, this was the, uh, the Ziegfeld Follies show. These were some original costumes. Apparently, Disney had taken over uh, one of the theaters years and years ago from <clears throat> there had been some. Oh, sorry. There had been some teardowns uh, years back. And these were some actual original costumes that they found that are here in the museum from the Zedfield Follies. So that was very cool. There was also some different kind of little set pieces you could take photos in. Uh, this was one of them. This was from uh, Rent. Rent, not one of my favorite shows, so I didn't take a photo here. Uh, here's a little variety of costumes from different shows that you might recognize uh, from six on the left. In the middle is Andre de Shield's outfit from Hades Town, and all the way over on the right is um, Satine, uh, the original Satine, which was Karen Olivo, and that was her. That's her descent costume from the beginning of uh, Satine's part of the Moulin Rouge show. So it was very cool. Overall, I had a really good time in the museum. Here is me doing my best Alan Cummings in, um, in one of the cabaret sets. And uh, overall, it was a really fun museum. If you are at all interested in uh, Broadway at all, uh, it was great. It had uh, different eras of different shows going all the way back from the beginning of Broadway to the new, um, the new musicals that are on. Uh, right now. So this is the uh, obligatory photo of the new playbill. Uh, Aaron Tveit is back for a limited run at Moulin Rouge. So I never thought I'd be back to see this show. It was um, pretty amazing to be back in the theater. I had, I had resigned myself to really never seeing it again after Aaron left because it just, it wasn't the same. It, it was still very hard. I believe there are four original cast members still in the show. So Sar um, is, it was, it was his last show. Uh, so uh, we did get to see his last performance and here's a picture of him doing a lovely jump at the end uh, during the curtain call. Um, Sar is still in it. Um, Jackie and uh, Jay, who are part of the lady, uh, lady M's, they are original from, 
the Broadway run, as well as Bahia, who is one of the uh, pre-show, um, the pre-show uh, entertainment, <clears throat> along with a lovely ensemble member. Um, also, Dylan, Dylan, and um, Aaron Finley. Dylan was uh, in. You can kind of see him over on the left. He was in as the Duke. That was his last night. He was filling in for the Duke, who had left uh, after Tam. And I believe the the person who is taking over for, for both Sar as Toulouse and uh, as for Dylan, who is the um, he's a swing. So he comes in and does a lot of different roles, but he does fill in as the Duke from time to time. The uh, the national tour uh, Toulouse and Duke are coming in and they should be starting uh, today It's Tuesday. So they should be starting their run today. So that's about it. Everybody else is is pretty brand new, so I didn't really re- recognize anybody in the show uh, other than them. B- but um, Aaron was amazing, and we did a lovely uh, goodbye to uh, Sar then. So that was amazing, and I wish him uh, good luck to whatever it is that he is doing in the future. I'm glad I got to be there for that show. Uh, then I did a nice little uh, cold walk back to the train station this is the Moynihan train station from the outside you can see it's just gorgeous it's a very beautiful building I'm not sure what it used to be I I feel like it used to be a post office <clears throat> there's still a post office inside along with some different uh, like a Starbucks and a and a I think it's Magnolia's bakery and different things like that so there are some places to eat I of course opted for the free food hoping there would be something different uh, in the uh, lounge but there really was not they didn't even have the gluten-free muffin so i ended up with a kind bar that was fine i did drink some coffee unfortunately uh but i did get a little rest on the train <clears throat> uh and then i was back down into the train once again i had upgraded used my last upgrade for a business class seat uh which was pretty open it was all really open normally i wouldn't recommend doing that i would recommend buying a business class seat and then upgrading to first class however i just didn't have the money for that and the times the trains didn't work out anyway so uh, if you go back and forth from boston to new york there are two trains there's a northeast regional that has a few extra stops um that only has a an economy it's mostly economy and they have one business class car if you take the Excella, which is an express train uh, a little quicker um, they have uh, assigned i think it's assigned business class or assigned seats in economy business class and then they also have they also have first class so you can uh, upgrade from the business class to the first class with that so that's what i would have done but um but i did not then I got home and I noticed that uh, the, one of the parks, they have this lovely uh, heart. They do a light up canopy over here. And then right now they've got these hearts going all the way through it. So it's kind of like the tunnel of, of hey, don't remind me that I'm single. So that was fun. Anyway, that was it. I really appreciate you taking this uh, trip f- with me. And I will be doing a more in-depth review of the pictures from home, the Broadway uh, museum. And so if you're interested in either one of those, please uh, keep an eye out for later this week and I will be doing a more in-depth review of both of those. All right, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Oh, and of course, when I got home, I had to because it comes so naturally A girl, I'm such a fool For all them things you do Don't just stop, no, don't just stop being you